What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, as you can see by the title, we are going to be talking all about nudes. So if you guys know me by now, you would know that I am a basic bitch and I just stick to nudes. Like I don't venture out of that. It's very rare for me to be seen wearing like any types of crazy colors, even like pinks, reds, dark lip colors. I do them for tutorials and whatnot. But in my daily life, you'll never catch me wearing like a red lipstick out and about on the town. Like I stick to what I know and those are nude lipsticks. I get a lot of questions from you guys asking me on Snapchat and in the comments of my videos asking me like what lip color I'm wearing, what my current favorite lip color combo is. So today I'm going to sit down and show you guys some of my favorites, show you what I've been wearing lately and just share with you guys what my current favorite nude lip products are. Before I jump into things, if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. And also don't forget to click the notification bell so you can stay updated with all the videos that I post. So when it comes to nude lipsticks, I feel like it varies for different people. Like if you have a similar skin tone to me, then pretty much all of these products that I'm about to show you are going to suit you and complement your skin tone nicely. However, if you're lighter or if you're darker, it might vary because I feel like with every different skin tone, skin color, you got to find what works for you. And when it comes to nudes, although we may be wearing the same color, what I'm wearing on myself might look completely different on you. It really is just about finding what suits you and what complements your skin tone the best. So firstly, I'm going to start off and I'm going to show you what my current hands down favorite lip combo is at the moment. So this is it right here, the three products that I use to get this new lip combo right here. So I firstly want to talk about the MAC Lip Liner in Strip Down. I feel like this is a staple for a good nude lip. I feel like all my descriptions for all of these products are going to be like, yeah, it's a really nice nude because obviously they're all nudes. But yeah, it's a really nice nude. <laughs> but really, it's like a warm tone nude with like a brown dark undertone to it as well, which I really do like my lip liners to be a little bit darker than what the lip color that I'm going to be applying for the day is. I feel like that kind of gives you a more pouty look and makes your lips look fuller because I mean my lips aren't too big like they're nothing crazy but I can make them look full by the way that I line them and I feel like this is perfect I use this pretty much under all my nudes like this is my go-to lip liner so I highly recommend if you're looking for a nude lip liner definitely go and check out MAC strip down especially if you have a similar skin tone to me because it is going to work for you so well on top of that I like to go in with the MAC satin lipstick in peach stock as you can see my Mine has been very well loved. It's like looking all jacked up right now. And that just goes to show how much I love it because I've been wearing it pretty much every single day for the past month. So this is in fact my lip color right now. As you can see, very peachy, like the name suggests, peach stock. And it's funny because it looks a lot lighter on my hand, but when I apply it to my lips, it kind of just evens out and blends into the lip liner. But yeah, as you can see, it's super creamy. And I do find that those peachy toned nudes like that is, that's the money right there. Like that's my kind of nude. And aside from the color as well, just the formula and the longevity of the lipstick itself is amazing. Like I can wear this for a full day and continue to reapply on top as needed, which is barely ever, like I barely have to reapply on top and it still looks good. You know how some lipsticks when you apply over top, it looks cakey and you're just like, no, like I have to wipe everything off and start again with this. The longevity of it is amazing. It lasts a long time, looks great, stays opaque, and it just feels really comfortable on the lips. So that is probably why I'm in love with this formula so much. The lipstick and color itself is amazing. And then this, you guys, this is hands down a must have. Like I don't care what skin tone you have, whatever, you need this. So this is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Madeline. I actually have two of them. And as you can see, I'm scraping them. Like I've pretty much used both of them up. As you can see, I am really scraping the tube. But this, oh my gosh, I've gone through so many tubes of this lip gloss. It is, I can't even describe it, it's amazing. Let me just see if I can actually get some out of this tube right here to swatch for you guys. So as you can see on the back of my hand, it honestly doesn't look like anything special. But when you put it on the lips on top of a nude, is beautiful like I can't describe it it is beautiful and it just makes your lips look so full and patty and just luscious and you know when you have certain lip glosses that wear away and it kind of gets all patchy mm -mm, it doesn't happen with this and I also like the fact that it is a nude gloss but it's not 
opaque and I know I always talk about things being nice and opaque and I like things to be opaque but when it comes to a gloss you don't want it to be too over the top you want it to complement your lipstick that you're wearing underneath this hands down always my go-to doesn't matter what lipstick I'm wearing underneath if I want to go for a nude I'm putting this on top because it just complements every nude lipstick liquid lipstick lip liner whatever I apply put this on top it looks bomb. So now that I've gotten my favorite nude lip color combo out of the way, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of my other favorite nude lip products. I have them all in a pile in front of me and there's so many, I just like don't even know where to start. So I'm gonna start off with this. This is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in London. Now I'm sure you guys have all heard about this one before because it is quite a favorite here on YouTube. I don't know how to describe this formula, but it's not a liquid lipstick, but not a lipstick. It's like a soft, moussey texture, if that makes sense. But let me just show you guys how it looks on the back of my hand. Mmm, that's my kind of nude right there. The formula of this is amazing, and the lip color, it's pretty similar to like what I have on right now. But the formula of this is so comfortable on the lips. You can reapply over the top. It doesn't do anything weird, doesn't cake up or anything crazy like that. And as you can see, it is very warm toned. You are going to see a pattern with all of these nudes that I show you guys. I'm very into my warm nudes. But yes, I really do like this one from NYX and also it has a scent to it and I don't know how to describe the scent. It's like sweet cupcakes or something. I don't know, it smells like a sweet bakery. Next up, this is another favorite of mine. Of course, it's a favorite of mine. These are all my favorites. But yes, this is the Rimmel London by Kate Lipstick in number 26. I think the, for, like, the color of this, sorry, not the formula. The color of this is very similar to peach stock are they actually no this one is a little bit lighter but let me just show you how it looks on the back of my hand it's just like a little smidge lighter so we have the rimmel number 26 lipstick in the middle and then on the outside is peach stock so i mean if you are looking for a drugstore alternative something less expensive that is similar to max peach stock definitely go and check this out again the formula of these is great i feel like rimmel london does a lot of really nice lipsticks like their formula is really comfortable on the lips and the great thing is is that they're super inexpensive now that i'm looking at all these nudes that i'm about to show you guys there are quite a few that are from the brand rimmel i feel like they're formula of their lipsticks and the tone of their nudes is perfect for me personally. So the next one that I'm going to show you is another Rimmel lipstick. This one is their Moisture Renew lipstick, the ones that come in the purple packaging. And this one is in number 700 Nude Delight. As you can see, once again, very well loved by me. Let me just give you guys a swatch on the back of my hand. It is very similar. These like they're all very similar but different they all give me a different kind of vibe so those of you who are into nude lipsticks you know exactly what i mean when i say that but again the formula i love it the color i love it i just i don't know i can't describe these in a very good way because they are all very similar warm peachy nudes that is my thing next up again another one from rimmel this is their lasting finish by kate lipstick in number zero three this one though is kind of like has a bit more of a pinky undertone to it as you can see on the back of my hand it looks super pink against my skin tone at the moment but on the lips it gives off like a very soft pinky nude type of vibe but not too pink if that makes sense on the back of my hand it looks very pink but on the lips it looks nude Again, this one is from Rimmel in number 56, Boho Nude. It comes in their like pretty rose gold packaging. You already know. Same. Oh, that nearly hit my face. Same kind of nude, but this one has more of a brownie undertone to it. So we've got like the light peachy one, the pink nude one, and then this one is a nude again, but it's more of like a brown undertone. And as you would have seen by those swatches, these glide onto the lips so effortlessly they're so creamy and the formula is amazing because they last all day long they don't get all gross and cakey and all that and you can reapply over the top with these lipsticks next up i have two from the maybelline color sensational range so first up i have honey beige number 728 let me show you guys this one this is like a true nude i feel with this color i feel like it's a your lips but better kind of color like just even out the look of your lips kind of color if that makes sense and then this one right here number 215 totally toffee i think this one is a little 
more cool tones, but it has that like kind of purpley pinky undertone to it as well, which I don't mind sometimes. Like I do love my peachy nudes. Don't get me wrong. You already know I love my peachy nudes, but sometimes if you want to add a little more pink to your look, then this is the type of color that I would go for. As you can see, it does look very different to the other one and it has like almost yeah a purpley undertone to it at the same time next up this one is from maybelline as well and this was like my favorite lip product for the longest time this was all i wore every day to work like this was my work lip color for the longest time this is the maybelline what is it even called i can't remember the maybelline color drama intense velvet lip pencil in nude perfection so as you can see it's just like a jumbo lip pencil super super creamy and oh my goodness this is like the perfect <laughs> i just said this before but honestly like these are all I'm not even gonna explain myself. But yes, it's like a Your Lips But Better kind of color once again. And I would always get so many compliments whenever I wore this lip color. People would always come up to me and ask me like, what is on your lips because I need to know. And guaranteed nine times out of 10, this is what I was wearing. I'm pretty sure I have gone through at least at least five of these over the years. So that's when you know I really like something if I repurchase it over and over again. That means I'm really down with it. Now for this next product, if you're from Australia, you probably know all about it, but if you're overseas, I don't know if it's as easy for you guys to get a hold of it. But this is the Australis Velour La, Velour La, 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 I can't talk properly. Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in the shade Patty, 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 however you wanna pronounce it. First of all, these smell like grapefruit something i don't know i don't know how to describe the scent but as soon as i smell the scent i know exactly that it's this product but let me just show you guys how it looks as you can see glides on really nicely and it is as the name says like a velour lip cream it's not a liquid lipstick it's not a lipstick it's just like a moussey formula if that makes sense but it does dry down it actually does dry down and it stays put on the lips the only thing that i have to say about this is that it does tend to dry out your lips but because i really like the lip color like if i want to go for a nude 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 like nude then this is typically what i would go for i could see myself wearing this with like a really dark smoky eye this and then like a nice clear gloss over the top it's just like a pale pinkish sort of nude if you know what i mean again the formula is amazing but for me personally i wouldn't wear it by itself i would definitely go over top with a gloss and the gloss that i probably would pick to go over top is this one from rimmel london this is their apocalypse lip lacquer in what's the shade called nude eclipse as you can see in the tube super super nude let me just give you guys a quick swatch on the back of my hand boom that that right there that's a nude now i know this looks crazy in the tube because that is like a pure legit nude right there but i like to wear this on the days where i want to lighten up a nude lipstick or lip liner just a little bit can i just say i feel like when i'm talking about all these nude lip combos it's like a math equation but anyway yeah i really do like that lip gloss from rimmel london so i have another australis lip product to show you guys this is the demi matte lip cream in the shade empower first of all the packaging real cute but what's more important is the color inside of course so it does come like this and let me show you guys a swatch yes once again a warm nude but it does have a little bit of a pinky undertone to this i do love the formula because it's not quite a, like a matte liquid lipstick as the name suggests it is a demi matte but it is super comfortable on the lips because it doesn't dry your lips out and it doesn't feel heavy or cakey or whatever it's just comfortable and you can like you know smack your lips together and feel that there's product there but it's not like sticking together if that makes sense my only problem with this is while i love the color and i love the formula it does this thing after a few hours where it like makes like a little rim around the center of your lips but because i love the color so much i'm not too faced by it i just will go in kind of touch it up let it do its thing and you know deal with it but the color itself and the formula is what I'm loving most about it. The only con, like I said, is the fact that it does that weird thing in the middle of your lips and makes it look like you have butthole lips. But other than that, I really, really like it. Now this one's a little bit random to show you guys because it's the only lipstick I have from this brand. Now this is by Inglot and this is their lipstick in number 403. And as you can see, 
boom that is a light nude so let me just show you guys on the back of my hand once again as you can see super super light it kind of does give me mac myth vibes if you know what that lipstick looks like then you know how light it is the formula of this it's not creamy but it's not drying it just is like it's there i do like to wear this only in the center of my lips if i really want to pump up the look of my lips and make them look nice and pouty and full then i will go in with this in just the center like if i just show you guys i'll just like dab it on the center and then spread it around like so and boom instant full of lips i actually had somebody ask me the other day if i had any type of like work done to my lips i was like really because it don't look like it to me. I have two more products to show you guys. These are both lip glosses. This one is from Maybelline. This is their Elixir Color Sensational Lip Gloss in the shade Nude Illusion. So this is like a standard nude lip gloss. As you can see, it does have a little bit of color to it, but it's not opaque. It just gives your lips a nice tint. And I feel like this is really complimentary if you were to line your lips and then go in with this. I mean, you could totally just wear it by itself, but for me personally, I always do like to line my lips to make them look defined. So yeah, as you can see, once again, a warm peachy nude. This is like the perfect mid-tone peachy nude though. It's not too light, it's not too dark. And then the last one that I have to show you guys for today is from Dose of Colors. This is their lip gloss in Undressed, and it is actually quite an opaque lip gloss as you can see from the tube itself it is very opaque um but next to that it is very nude as you can see it is quite a bit more lighter and it does have a sort of pinky undertone to it nothing too crazy though i do like to apply this very sparingly since it is a light nude because of my skin tone personally if i was to go ham and just apply this thick and heavy and get it nice and opaque on my lips Mm, it doesn't look good. So when it comes to a lighter lip gloss or a lip color, I do like to apply it sparingly. Just apply it to the center of the lips and dab it out. So let me just show you guys quickly what I mean. I'll just apply it to the center of my lips like so, and then just go in with my finger. So yeah, that is how I would apply that lip gloss right there. Again, the formula of the Dose of Colors lip glosses are very comfortable on the lips. Some of them are opaque, some of them aren't. This one, however, is quite an opaque lip color but again i do go in quite sparingly with it so it doesn't look too crazy on me so there we have it guys those are my top favorite nude lip products at the moment i want you to comment down below and let me know if you've tried any of them and also give me your suggestions because you know me even though i have so many as it is i'm always still looking for the perfect nude so comment down below let me know what your current favorite nude lip color is if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're still here at the end watching and you aren't yet subscribed to my channel make sure you hit the little red subscribe button down below before you go and also hit the notification bell so you don't miss any more videos that i post i will leave a list of all the products that i talked about in the video down in the description box below so you can catch the names if you did miss any of them you can also find all of the links to my social media accounts on there so if you want to keep up with me on twitter instagram facebook or snapchat it's all down below. With all that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week. I will talk to you in the comments and I'll see you in my next video.